Hey everybody, my name is Kate and I'm a music therapist with McConnell Music Therapy Services. We serve the greater Sacramento area in California. I've got, I'm also a working mom. I've got three kids ages 10, 7, and 5. And they're awesome. Um, we also have a golden doodle puppy. She's very cute, which is good because she's also pretty naughty. Her name is Hermione and I live here in this house with my family and my awesome husband. Um, with everything going on right now and schools being on these long extended breaks and a lot of stores being closed, things have felt kind of weird lately. And while things are off like this and we don't have our normal routines and we can't hang out with our friends every day, it's really important to stop every now and then and check in with how we're feeling. At our house, we call it heart work, and we kind of do it along with our homework every day. We just do something that, something that helps us be aware of how we're feeling and dealing with some of those big emotions. Because if we don't stop and pay attention to our feelings, what tends to happen? Like <laughs> huge, right? They just get bigger and bigger and louder and louder until finally we pay attention to them. And that can come out a lot of different ways. Like my, my youngest tends to poke her big brother, my middle guy. Um, and so if at breakfast she's sitting there and she's like poking him with her foot at the breakfast table, like when we're not seeing and nobody mentions anything, he's gonna get pretty annoyed, right? but he's not gonna lose it. And then if things keep going all day and all these little things, these frustrations keep building, but he doesn't stop to be like, whew, I'm feeling frustrated now, what's gonna happen? Well, in our house, my middle guy is gonna lose it at some point in time over something that's probably not that big of a deal. And he wouldn't go all like, like a volcano if he, if he noticed kind of where he was and was like, wow, I am really frustrated with my younger sister right now. So with this heart work, we're just gonna kind of check in, see how you're feeling and talk about some different ways to handle these emotions that are coming up in these really weird times that can feel kind of scary and uncertain. Yeah? So today I wanted to talk about the people who we count on and how we can get support from them. Some of those people may be people that you live in your house with and that you might be sheltering in place with right now. Some of them could be other people in your lives. They could be people like teachers or grandparents or friends who you get support from, uh, you know, anybody who you count on. They could be pets. I don't know about in your house, but in, in our house, Hermione's kind of a, kind of like a person too. She also gives wonderful kisses and snuggles. She's very fluffy. So I would invite you to grab a piece of paper. You can pause this if you want. Piece of paper, something to write or draw with. Okay, so what I would like, or what I would invite you to do, would be to go ahead and think about who you count on in your life. So if I were thinking about it, I would draw my mom, or list, this could be a list too, but I would definitely put my mom on there because she's awesome. I would also put my husband on there. And also my dog. Because like I said, she gives awesome snuggles. I also have four really close friends who I would put on there. And 
These are the people who you count on to help you out when you're feeling kind of down or kind of lost or kind of sad or just need to like go, people in my house are frustrating right now because we all get there, totally normal. want to, another place that you could take this is you could then look at those people on your list or in your drawing and reach out to them today, whether it's over the phone or FaceTime or Messenger or whatever, or text reach out to them and let them know that they are someone you care about, that they matter to you, and that they're important to you. Because we all like to hear that. That's nice for everybody. And it's really nice to connect with those people who support you. And if they're the people that you're at home with, sheltering in place with. It would be cool to let them know too. You can just talk to them, give them a hug, give them a note. Because these people can still be involved in our everyday lives. It's trickier right now because we have to be kind of apart, but I know that you are all super creative and you can find ways to keep in touch with people. And those are people then who can, you can talk to about how you're feeling. You can say, I'm frustrated with my sister. <laughs> or, oh my gosh, I did not get that assignment from class the other day. Or, ah, I keep getting kicked off of Zoom because of our house internet or whatever. Whatever it is you're needing to talk about. Then you've got that someone that you can lean on, which is important because we all need that. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you're going to join me again for heart work. Take care of yourselves something kind for someone else and I hope to see you again soon. <laughs>